Colin and Matt, best buds from Mount Pearl, Newfoundland, and Labrador. We want to be part of the Amazing Race Canada. We've made audition videos for the Amazing Race Canada since season one. Hey, welcome to London. Yeah, D Biscuits, yeah. yeah. And they're embarrassing. They are embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, the least. lack of a better word. We met in high school, so we've just been best friends ever since. Now we're a little bit older, we're a little bit wiser, and we're going to represent the great folks of The Rock. Woo! Yes, my. Hi, man, Colin. How are you guys? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, first of all, I want to say uh, congrats on even making it this far on The Amazing Race Canada. Um, and I, I heard you guys auditioned for 10 years. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, we applied every season since the very first. So, you know, making to the starting line for season 10 was the most surreal feeling that we ever had. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say that's such like, that's so inspiring to all the fans out there. Like you guys have been auditioning for 10 years and you guys made it to the finale. So I think that's awesome. Um, so I'm, I'm curious, like what would it mean to you guys to uh, win the Amazing Race Canada? Oh my God. <laughs> It would be mind blowing. It would be. It would mean everything. It would be life changing. It would be the complete definition of a lifelong dream come true. Yeah, the cherry on top. I mean, living the dream already. The dream was to get on, and the next dream was to not be eliminated first. <laughs> then it was to win. Yeah, and then it was to get to the end. Yeah. Now the last thing on the list is just to win. Yeah, so that's the last thing to do. So we've just been living the dream this whole this whole summer. Yeah. It's been crazy. I love that. <laughs> yeah. um, side, side question though, was it, was it like kind of both your ideas in the beginning originally or like did one of you guys kind of have a little bit more of a push? Like, hey, I want to try this out. <laughs> yeah, I think it started out as my my dream. You know, like even when I, before the Amazing Race Canada was a thing, I was a fan of the US show, you know, so I would watch mm -hmm. that. And then, you know, when the Canadian version came out, that's when, you know, I went to Matt and I said, buddy, we got, we got to do this, right? Like we're, we would be awesome at it. Yeah. And then, you know, we had some early success uh, in the application process early on in the early seasons. And then from that moment on, we just, you know, sort of yeah. dug our heels in and said, no, we're, we're going to make this happen. And from that moment, we said, we're going to get on the amazing race. Yeah. We were like, okay, we've made it, you make it so far. And you're like, okay, so it is possible. And, you know, Colin's persistence in the beginning was, was key to keeping that, keeping that going. And it was, yeah, I mean, here we are. <laughs> Holy. I mean, it's definitely hard, you know, when you want something so bad and you, you get, you know, the reject, you get rejected year after year after year after year, you know, nine times, right? And then the 10th yeah. time it, it works out, it, it's it's crazy. Yeah. So all the fans out there, if you've applied year after year, if you want to be on the show, keep going. Don't give up. Yeah. It can happen. Persistence is key. Yeah. Persistency, literally. Um, 100%. So when you guys heard that you were going to be on the Amazing Race Canada, like, what did you guys do to mentally and physically prepare for the show? Is there anything you can do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, like, a, contrary to popular belief, you know, I did do a little bit of exercise before the show. You know? <laughs> like, I, I did, you know, work out. I, I, I did some running, you know. Yeah. Don't skip leg day. Don't that, skip leg day. That's the rule. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, aside from, you know, just doing a little bit of extra exercise, you know, and maybe you know, some brain games and things like that. There really is nothing you can do to prepare yourself for yeah. this race because you have no idea what they're throwing at you. Like, I had no, I had no idea he was going to be standing on top of a horse one day. And, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. it's just complete <laughs> random and, and chaos the entire time. So it's just buckle up and just enjoy the ride, really. Yeah, I mean, you can, we watched all the past seasons over and over again, but still, even so, I mean, as much as you can know what challenges and all that, you there's just no way to prepare besides to just do one clue at a time and do it one day at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, speaking of challenges, um, I'm curious, what was your, would you say your favorite and the most challenging so far? Do you want to go favorite? <laughs> Cause I think we all know what the most challenging is. <laughs> <laughs> we all watched the Russell Manitoba Ukrainian dancing, right? That was, mm -hmm. that was not fun. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think the hardest for me was the curling. I had, the I was a lot of fun. fun. As terrible as we were, I had so much fun doing it. Yeah, the curling was a lot of fun. The zip line last episode was a lot of fun. That was that was wicked. And nailing the targets in the water and everything. And yeah, Mary Machi was a, was a really fun leg. We said that that was probably one of our most favorite up to this point. You know, it was definitely really yeah. I think one of the highlights for sure. I think overall that whole leg was it, it was, was a really fun day. Fun, yeah. mm -hmm. And watching my my cousin's a firefighter, so watching the episode with him was. 
also hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, how would you guys say your uh, relationship as a team or like um, kind of evolved throughout the race, um, especially as you know you got closer to uh, get reaching the finale? It's so funny because throughout the race, we would be asked that question so frequently, like pretty much every day they would ask us this and every day we'd be like, it really hasn't changed that much, guys, you know, like <laughs> yeah. we know each other, we love each other, like we know each other inside and out, like this race, of course, it brought us like close together, yeah. but I mean, we were already so close that, you know, like, yeah, I guess the only thing we learned about each other would be the stuff that we never thought we would be able to do, like personally, I mean, I would never get on a horse, let alone stand on one or lie on it and say that's calling rappelling down Niagara Falls and doing a Ukrainian dance with two very painful knees, and, you know. Not that we would ever do it in our daily lives. We, we've done it. Yeah. And here we are. So without revealing too much, is there anything that you can say kind of like your final thoughts of kind of heading into the finale? Buckle up. It, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. the... It's, yeah, it, it's been a journey to get here, and it's 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 not over yet. You know, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah. And then um, my last question is: so here we're all about going the extra mile. So, what is one thing that you do on your day to day life, uh, whether personal or uh, anything else, like that you do that where you go the extra mile? I think going the extra mile for me, it's it, I don't. It's never a physical thing, but it's always just going the extra mile to. I don't know, check in on your buddies and just I'm nice. Yeah. I mean it's true though. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't check in on their buddies or say how are you doing or what's up or here's the deadly fellow. Your best guy. <laughs> That's it. Um yeah. well, I guess that would be it. Um I'd say I just go the extra mile and you know, if I have a goal, I, I'm going to accomplish the goal. Like I I if I have, you know, I'm, I'm a clear target in mind, like I'm not stopping until I get it done, you know, and that's, you know, the persistence, I guess, is how I go the extra mile in life. Mm -hmm. Not sure if that really well, answers the question. <laughs> no, no, it does, it does. There, there was like no right or wrong way to answer this. So um, I just want to say thank you guys both for your time. I'm really excited to uh, watch the finale and uh, you both have been so like inspiring to all the fans out there that just like want to get on the show. So really excited and uh, thank you guys. Like, I'm thank really you so much. Yeah. Uh, what happens? Yeah, yeah lovely meeting, lovely time with you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.